Hello, my name is Christian from Gradewola, Trading with Know-how and Transparency. Today we want to talk about the topic futures. First of all, what is in future? What different types of futures are available? Also the difference between micro and uh, mini futures. Also how you can trade the futures with Trader Workstation or with Interactive Broker. And then at the end I will summarize um, all the facts for futures and uh, give you a short overview about all the details. So if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming topics, subscribe here to our channel, leave a comment and um, also a like. We would be happy to um, yeah, welcome you in one of the next videos um, again. Futures. Um, futures is um, a contract on um, commodities where you save a price for the future. There should be a buyer, a buyer and a seller. And other than with options, a future contract can't expire without um, or can't expire worthless. And uh, futures are also uh, bought on margin, so it's necessary to have a brokerage account to trade futures. And in general, we, um, like I said, have eight different groups of futures. First of all, metals, energy, index futures. I think these are the main um, future groups. Then there's agriculture, interest rates, crypto futures. Also, like I said in the beginning, micro futures and um, softs. And the difference between micro and mini futures, like micro, like the word already says, it's a smaller contract than mini futures, so you need less margin, and one point uh, is normally a smaller amount uh, of money than in a mini future. Yeah, how can you trade futures with Interactive Broker? This I will show you later on the screen. Also, how these different, uh, these eight different groups, which uh, futures are included in these um, groups. And it's also important to know that there's a cash settlement and a physical delivery for futures. What does it mean? Normally, if you buy a wheat future or a coffee future, you can really get a physical delivery when the expiration date of the future um, is near or the future contract ended. You can um, get a big amount of uh, this commodity and this is the normal purpose of uh, futures is hatching. Let's say you have a company who uses a lot of um, oil, gas or coffee, then you need to make sure in three months or even in six months you have a certain price for your, for your commodity and that's why you trade futures. I think the most common way in, um, nowadays is trading futures for speculations and um, most people use it uh, because it's a very high liquidity. We have a very low commission comparing to other products but all these details I will show you here later on the screen. So let's go to the screen and uh, check out all the details um, what I mentioned here in the beginning. Yeah, here we can see this worksheet or workspace for futures, what we created ourselves with two different charts in a five minute and a daily candle interval. Also for order entry and an overview of your trades or orders is included. But I think the main important thing what we want to talk about is the list and a group of different futures. We have, uh, for example, stock index futures with S&P 500, Nasdaq and Dow Jones, metals with silver, gold and um, copper. Then another group is energy, like I said earlier, with um, sweet crude oil, Brent oil or our also gas, for example. We have agriculture with wheat and soya bone, uh, beans and uh, currency. Futures as well as interest rates and the last three topics are crypto um, futures and soft futures with uh, coffee, sugar and uh, cacao. Last but not least, we also have um, micros, but micros is just like you can also cluster it in these seven different groups what we had in the beginning. It's just a smaller size. For some futures you have even micros, minis and a big future. And later on, we will have a more detailed overview about micros and especially about the advantages comparing to ETF products. Also important, if you see the infinity sign, a sign here behind the um, future symbol, it means we are talking about continuous contracts. You can also see the exchange. Most of the um, index futures are traded on the CME, but we also have NYMEX and uh, ESM bot as an exchange. And if you, it's important if you want to see them real time, then you need to know 
which market data, the future market data you need to apply, especially here with interactive broker of the Trader Workstation. You can also check our video in the right corner to see how to apply for market data. So these simple continuous contracts, <clears throat> they are mainly for analyzing because um, you have a yeah, better history of data. Normally all the futures are traded three months of a good volume to analyze the last few months or years. You always have a look at the continuous contracts. If you want to see one of the contracts which you can trade, you just type the same symbol here, click to futures and then we see December, March, June or continuous contract what we were talking about. What puts at the end all the past um, futures together so we can see a greater history. The biggest volume is always the nearest expiration date here for the micro S&P future December 16th. You can see other agriculture futures for example for soya beans they also have a January or I think in the cryptos we can also see here in November. So this is um, differentiates a little bit from the future group. To place the order it's pretty simple you just put here the price limit or market and then you can open your position. What is also very interesting is the site from TD Ameritrade because exactly here you have an overview about all the futures for these future groups what we saw in the watch list of um, interactive broker. For example here stock index metals um, and it's very interesting here that you can see all the symbols if you want to um, put them in your own watch list. You also see what is the minimum tick size and uh, what's the value of this and what I said in the beginning if it's a physical or a cash settlement because for especially agricultures or metals you get a physical delivered the future here for example gold then you don't close it before the expiration date. This is very important and I mean as well the trading hours so I will also put this link in the description so you can have a look and can see all the details and all the symbols um, for all futures which are available and also the multiplier to know what is one point for example as a value. That's one thing now we want to see the differences between or the advantages um, comparing to ETFs. We have a presentation here from the CME group and I think three things are really important. Um, we have no management fees in futures because you know every ETF has a management fee what will be deducted daily or automatically what you will not even realize because it's already included in the price. So from this side futures are much more interesting and you can trade them around the clock especially if there's some news um, outside trading hours you are limited to the normal market trading hours or pre and post market for ETF and for me what is also for day traders a very important fact futures are not part of the pattern day trading rules other than ETFs where you're limited with smaller account sizes and you can only trade three times or three day trades per week. Let's come to the volume. If you can see here the pair for example if um, e-mini S&P 500 comparing to the biggest ETF for the S&P 500 with the symbol SPY. You have 11 times higher volume in a future contract on a daily basis um, than what we see here in the ETF itself and for other futures you can also see this below um, and volume especially for spread and other things is very important the future have a very high volume comparing to the same ETF for the same field. Here's short overview even this is a little bit older for also margin um, impact if you want to trade micros um, they start really with a low amount even now it's a little bit higher and uh, you also see here the ticker symbol again what makes it quite attractive also for mid-term or swing trades to compare this or to check uh, the same value as you want to trade maybe as an ETF for futures because at the end of the day depending how many trades you do per year you will save always some fees even the commission um, if you compare it with the right broker should be in a better price range than what we have here in, in ETFs itself. So micro is quite interesting also good volume and like I said in the beginning, if you want to have this worksheet, this work, this watch list as well with all the future titles, 
just send us a short email. We will be happy to um, provide you this. Everything else, if you're still looking for a broker account, we used here the uh, broker Maxim, what uh, also has a special offer at the moment. Everyone who wants to open an account gets a fractional share up to $200, depending on your um, first payment in the account. All the details for this you will find in our next video as well in the description. If there's anything else, let us know. I think this was uh, really interesting Interesting to see all the different groups, also to see the advantages between futures and ETFs. And I think, um, especially for small accounts, it's um, yeah, quite interesting to trade micro futures because margin uh, impact is quite low. And like I said, uh, the commission comparing to ETFs or other products, it's um, much better than um, what we see in um, stocks or ETFs. So if you don't want to miss any of the videos, like I said in the beginning, subscribe here to our channel. We would be happy to welcome you here soon again. Thank you very much.